guys, my name is Michael and today uh, we are going to talk about uh, levels and uh, how we can use them and uh, the basic of these uh, levels and uh, of course the most important thing uh, we are going to talk about uh, some uh, functions which we can uh, apply to these levels uh, when we create them and uh, set them and uh, uh, modify them and so on. We already saw some uh, levels when we were uh, working with uh, buttons for example we were creating a button with level and so on so you probably already know what level is or at least you have an idea or something anyway let's see uh, we are here to our reference api from uh, the index and uh, we are gonna search gtk uh, level okay gtk level is here here are all those uh, functions which there are a lot of them we are going to talk about uh, most of them and after you understand them then you will uh, understand also most of them which we are not going to apply because we need too much time to take every possible function here the properties which we have them here are those things which you can apply them to your functions uh, to your levels uh, and so on there are signals uh, which you can apply them we already talked about signals and how you can work with uh, those signals and so on types and values so the, the gtk level is a struct as you can see here and uh, the struct uh, gtk level it's just like that not so important now anyway if you move down here says the gtk level which a display a small amount of text as the name implies most levels are used to level another widget such as a gtk button a gtk menu item or a gtk combo box so like i said we already talked about it when we were creating uh, our gtk button in the previous videos anyway css nodes we have some here label selection and so on in other words uh, we will see how we work with this label anyway um, before we move, um, I think we need uh, wrong. I need uh, files. Uh, I need to go to the label. I think this one is okay. We have here styles. So uh, I'll drop this uh, window let's give it a color for example um, background color let's say orange save i will save it i run the program the way it is and we have an orange window nothing special okay now let's see let's go back to our gtk level uh, GTK level as well, uh, uh, we are not interested in this part and so on. Um, okay, now we are going today. We are going to talk only about uh, four functions. The first one is GTK label new, it's just the way you see it. So, for this, uh, GTK label new says creates a new level with a given text inside it, you can pass null to get an empty level widget what this means well let's see <coughs> uh, let's create a widget only level now we can uh, point our label pointer structure to the function which is uh, as you can see gtk label new gtk label new and says here that we need a string i will do this time null so and then gtk container add 
so inside the window g gtk container container a window it will be and the label which goes inside that container I will run the program the way it is and probably nothing happens um, as you can see uh, we can try to put a background here because we already saw that the CSA name it is label so we are gonna stick with this name uh, let's do something like I know green save it <coughs> I run the program again you see the level is here this is the default one is there and we have no text for this we have uh, two functions one is gtk level set label and the other one is gtk level set text let's see uh, those two functions and then uh, you I will explain you something very very important about these two functions and uh, where the different the main different things about that so the first one is the gtk level set label sets the text of the label the label is interpreted as including embedded underline and or pango markup depending on the values of the user underline okay so we are going to call this function uh, just after we create it and then uh, the first point the first one is uh, our gtk label uh, g GTK level, let me just get a okay. GTK level, level. And the second one is a string. Let's say hello, hello. Right, it's okay. It's enough. I'll already format it. I'll run it. As you can see, the text is there, which is black. Okay. Yeah, you, we can change it because we don't need it. So the the color should be white. No, white. I know how it looks like, uh, but I run it just to make some changes. Okay, you see it's here. It's, uh, we change it to uh, white. Of course, you can do a lot of things like border, radius. I know. Let's say. Mm, 45 percent for example and uh, if I save it and run it, it will look uh, like almost round because I say 45 okay but uh, we don't need it so let's uh, I hate this uh, let, let, let make it 25 okay now, uh, as you can see, the word hello is there, it works fine. Now, uh, the next function is gtk set text. Let's see, if for, let's first see what the uh, reference is. So the reference is sets the, sets, sets the text within the gtk label widget. It overrides any text that was there before. This function will clear any previous set mnemonic acceleration and set the use underlying property to false as its side effect, and so on. Okay, so mm, first of all, we need to run it. This means uh, I will copy this part here and throw it here. I will just comment out this part. I will run it, and uh, as you can see works fine nothing's different so at this point there's no matter if you're you're gonna use gtk level set label or gtk label set set text no matter trust me where it matters we'll talk about this in a moment okay the next function gtk level set text with mnemonic okay this means uh, we can change uh, our text to be a mnemonic text so after we set we after we create a label and then we set a text then we can create it 
as some mnemonic text this means I will copy this part here I'll draw it here and world it will be the next thing I will run the function no, the, pro the program now and as you can see now it's world here if I press the alt key as you can see the underline the underscore the underline uh, is right under uh, uh, V W or if I I've, if I hit now uh, uh, W it says could not find a target for now yeah because we didn't activate or we didn't make something but I wanted to show you a way how you can work with it uh, and how you create it uh, some information about this um, about this uh, function we can get it also I mean I had to show you I am so uh, let's go back here let's search this function now it says set the level stakes from the string str string if the string is in the string are preceded by an underscore they are underlined again they represent a keyboard accelerator called a mnemonic. The mnemonic key can be used to activate another widget. Choose one to call it or if you're using digitally set known widget. So uh, this is another function which uh, uh, can interact with uh, what you want to do with your mnemonic text. text. This, this means uh, as you can or uh, as you already know from the buttons uh, tutorial it's not important which which uh, uh, letter should be you see if I put it right here uh, before L if I run the program now and I hit alt you see it's right there under L and if I uh, hit now L it works fine I mean it should work and so on okay so this is about uh, GTK set text and uh, set text with mem mnemonic uh, I will comment them now and uh, the last, the last uh, function for today is GTK label new with mnemonic. Uh, but before that, uh, you need to know that uh, if you put here text like hello, for example, and then uh, you run it, you just created a label with the text inside it already. You don't need to call set text and something like that. You need to understand that by putting here an underscore line, uh, it will be there, but it won't help you because you see it's there. Nothing happens if I press now. Uh, it is not is not gonna change something. And for this, uh, there there is another function. The last one in this tutorial, like I said, GTK label new with mnemonic, and then. Uh, if we go back to our reference and search about this function uh, says uh, creates a new GK level containing the test string if the current and string are present by underscore they are underlined so this means uh, uh, if you need a literal underscore character in a level use this character as a two underscores yes of course because uh, they, they are talking about uh, those two underscores to have it one and to use it the second one so that uh, you see here it's underscore so you you see it and then uh, you also have it but if you work like this and you press alt and h one work so just don't use it just use it the first one and the only uh, one underscore which is uh, fine but like I said for this you need a real function also so again using two here for your mnemonic function you see you have one here you press alt alt and then H and nothing happens so don't think about need those two you need only one like here and then you run the program after that when you press now alt alt you see your underscore is here and then works fine by uh, hitting the hk okay now uh, after we we saw 
almost everything or at least uh, everything about these five functions we need to go back to these two functions because uh, here is the important size which you need to understand where is the difference between two both of these so this means we were creating a gtk label new with mnemonic this means we need this underscore now watch if you call this function for example uh, let's call it underscore world yes let's capitalize it okay i run the program and you will see now when i hit uh, alt the underscore line is there if i hit now uh, w works fine and this means you, you change the text uh, from uh, your uh, label with mnemonic without uh, change it in another way but see what happens if you call this time gtk level set text on a gtk level new with mnemonic uh, label which you created before so i will uh, copy the same uh, the same um, string here okay I will compile it and run it and as you can see your underscore is here if you press alt nothing happens if you press w nothing happens this means you just disassembled the mnemonic you you de destroy you deactivate it or how you want to call it uh, and uh, probably you didn't want to do that so remember uh, these two functions set label and set text are okay with gtk label new or uh, uh, with a gtk label new but both the, both of these functions are not okay with gtk label new with mnemonic this means when you work with mnemonic uh, you better uh, remember that that uh, uh, set text is not your choose because uh, it will kill your mnemonic it is a uh, set label uh, world which is uh, fine and of course uh, like we already saw uh, you can then uh, pressing alt and it works fine of course you if it happens that you for some reason called this function no problem because because uh, you still can call this function gtk level set text with mnemonic this time is something different and uh, if i change it to uh woo or something i don't know whatever now if i run the program and uh, i press the alt you see it's working fine so this means you are still saved from your possible mistakes just remember how and what kind of function do you need and uh, uh, choose them according to and your needs and remember there is still there a function which can uh, fix another bad calling function or something like that if you can i can call it so remember about these two functions and uh, which are the biggest difference between them and when you need them and when you don't need them in other words that's it thank you guys for watching uh, please subscribe if you like it uh, share with your friends and colleagues and your neighbors or something like that and until next time see you guys